more pedestrian mobile with a scoot pole mounted vertical antenna, but this time with a ground tuning unit. That will help tune the trailing ground counterpoise. Ground tuning units come highly recommended by people who often do pedestrian mobile, but up to now I've never used them. Another application is if you're in an apartment and you can't easily get to the ground where you'd want to attach your earth. In this case, an artificial ground can be used to tune out reactances and maybe reduce RF in the shack. There's not much to it. Here's the adapter that converts the BNC output from the FT817 to two banana sockets, one for the antenna and one for the ground. However, in series with the ground radial is this ground tuning unit, comprising of a series variable inductance, in this case mounted on the back of a six position switch, and a variable capacitor. It's a plastic type because I'm only going to be using low power. The counterpoise is connected to this banana socket. The toroid used is a T68-2. There's a tap about every four turns, and it's mounted on the back of this six position rotary switch. Then there's a variable capacitor, a maximum of around 300 picofarad. Oh, in 20 meters, the SWR is three bars, and I can't get it even lower, even with my best adjustments of the ground tuning unit. I'm right near the water's edge. Oh, and the SWI has gone up. But now in the water, or, oh, or, oh, it is pretty much one to one. Or, oh, or, oh. this once again shows the significance of the water's effect on the ground characteristics. My counterpoise wire is three meters long, made out of two pieces of wire, one to half meters. Now let's see what happens when we dip it in the water. The solder junction is out of the water, I'll drop it and listen to how the noise changes. The best radiation is in the direction facing the radial. Unlike the last few weeks, conditions on Trinity are very poor and almost no signals are heard. So it might be time to do something different. I've swapped the banana connections so the ground tuning unit is now in the antenna line. That may allow it to cover several other bands. And the antenna wire up to the top of the squid pole is connected where the trailing radial was. Pedestrian mobile, I wonder, wonder where about you are. Name is uh, Grant, QH is near Orange. VK3YE, VK2AXB. There's quite a big difference in signal, it's quite a lot of green sugar bacon. This band been, has been very, very crooked, crooked this morning. It, 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 it uh, faded out. You're walking, walking along the beach there. Very, very, very good. Oh, no, it's got. Because of this morning's HF blackout, I didn't get any DX contacts, or in fact any contacts on 20 metres. However, the ground tuning unit definitely had an effect, and I was able to tune up easier with it than without it. It's also handy to have a bit of LNC with you when you operate portable. For instance, I was able to put it in the antenna line and tune up on 10 MHz, where a couple of successful contacts were made. 